Chapter 4, Voyage of the Ruthless. What does this remind you of? I'm trying to connect to the Arcanum, like Lujane said. Didn't she also say that you have to be born with the Arcano what's it to do magic? I don't see why I can't make my own connection. Give the guy points, right? Like, at least he's not giving up. Also, how do we even know Lujane was telling the truth? I'm interested to see where this goes with Callum because I feel like it can go in so many different directions. Like, it would be interesting if he finds a way, right? It would also be interesting if he didn't find a way and had to cope with that. But he's probably going to find a way. Where there is a will, there is a way, as they say. Uh, is it just me or we lose an altitude? I'm extremely attuned to slight changes in the airflow. <laughs> Wow. <sighs> it's nice having both hands again. Mm. Bait's so grumpy these days. Nice! Look who it is. Oh yeah, I forgot to learn sign language. <laughs> there, look. The signal. Yes, General. Already a party. I heard that she's a fan favorite and it's not surprising at all. She's awesome. Oh yeah, someone pointed out to me that I was referring to this person as a woman. This elf is a woman. It is a man. A beautiful man. Who are you? She seems surprisingly receptive to Viren. He seems ah, he seems surprisingly receptive to Viren. Part of the reason why I thought it was a woman too is because there's something romantic about this whole thing, no? Is that just me? Like in the last episode with that, like, the piano music when she was becoming aware of him. There's something like sensual about this whole thing. Does that make sense? Am I nuts? Did anyone else feel that way? Tell me I'm not crazy, please. She's just tired. She gets her power from the moon nexus. The further away we go, Good. the harder it is to carry everyone. Wow, Ez. I can't believe you could understand all that. He told you you could talk to animals. So what do we do now? Back well, to walking. How does anybody go anywhere without a flying bison? You know what I mean? We need a boat and a captain who knows how to make it go. Right. Specifically a captain who doesn't hate elves. Hello again, fella humans, human fellas. I'm so tired of this. I'm so tired of this show not making any sense. Because Rayla keeps disappearing and nobody ever explains it. You're going to love this, Sim. I'm a huge fan of human Rayla. Let's go judge <laughs> and criticize things other humans do. As and then for do the, fan the exact base. same thing ourselves. Oof. I'm excited to rapidly eat a plate of unwholesome food in an excessive <laughs> portion size. <laughs> yeah. Won't it be great to encounter other humans and talk about which roads humans. and pathways will take us somewhere slightly faster than other roads and pathways? Callum's face. We do love going slightly faster. Hey, sometimes going slightly faster getting is great. somewhere slightly faster is important. Yeah. You stay here and work on growing a fifth finger. You've got it, my smooth skulled friend. That's how you know Ezrin is pure of heart. Like you could tell so much about someone by the extent to which they're willing to laugh at themselves. I really hope Callum gives it back to her one day. I'd love to see elf Callum and see how she can take it. Oh, I'm an elf. Everything is magical. I can't wait to meet other elves and talk about how weak our grip strength is, how we can barely hold a cup of hot morning potion without dropping it because of our lack of pinkos. And then we can bind up various appendages and tie them to mundane tasks and then lose them because that's a great idea. Yeah, I don't know very much about elves. <laughs> I can't, can't really think of anything else. We haven't explored elves enough. I don't know. I, that's all I got. Here it is, the romantic piano music. Doo -doo, doo -doo. This is like just a different storyline. You want me to find these items? I feel like this is going somewhere dark. Viren, meanwhile, has just totally forgotten about his world domination plans. It's like he was surfing the internet and then he got sucked into Reddit. It's funny though because, you know, romantic feeling aside, it's sort of humanizing because he's just engaged in this activity. It feels like just his curiosity that he's exploring. The elf is sort of the question mark, like what does he want? We found the perfect captain. What, is he some kind of enlightened human who can really see the good in elves? Hmm, I'm not sure he can see the good in anyone. Hmm, can't see. <laughs> That's awesome. The name's Captain Velas. The D is silent. There's the D. R. Wait, there's a silent R. R. Oh, okay, so it's just the silent D then. I. Ah, so there's a. <laughs> and this is me first mate, Berto. I'm a parrot. <laughs> Thanks for that. Welcome to me water home, the Ruthless. Named after me dear wife Ruth, <laughs> who sadly. <laughs> 
don't enjoy sailing. I suppose if we leave right now, we could race across the bay and beat the storm. You know, one of my oldest dreams that I still haven't accomplished is for the longest time, I've always had it in my mind that someday I would work on a boat, preferably on an ocean voyage. I want to do that at least once. It's because of the game Xenogears, if you guys have ever played that, because there's a there's a captain who's a man of the sea, and he's awesome, like this guy. My left eye was taken by a flock of mutinous seagulls. Oh, uh, wow. And what about your right eye? Don't know. Came at me from my left. <laughs> I like this guy. A sail is more like a wing flying through the wind you get a feel for where the wind is and how it's about to change it's like a connection deep in me bones hold on you feel a mm. connection to the wind just because i'm blind and i have narcolepsy you thought i wouldn't have sailing sense he's narcoleptic wait narcolepsy <laughs> yeah <laughs> Okay, that's sort of the weird thing about magic, right? Like typically the way we think about it is it's just something that shouldn't happen, but you're able to do through some mysterious power you can't understand. But if you look at it a different way, if you look at just like in terms of the effects of things, like being able to have command over elements or command over certain things in your environment, magic is sort of a thing that exists. It's just that once we do it, once we're able to do it, it doesn't feel like magic. It's just like technology or ability. One thing to think about in this lens is like, is it telekinesis? I always get this confused. Whichever one is like reading someone else's mind. Like we kind of do that all the time. Like humans are always, always reading other people's emotions. Maybe not with the degree of certainty that like Charles Xavier would have, but we still do it. We're still able to read the air kind of. The Arcanum is a very specific system, but it's an actual mechanism that leads to results, right? But maybe Callum could actually have some results in some ways without the Arcanum, if that makes sense. Seems as if we won't beat it after all. <laughs> huh. Maybe it's my chance. A chance to die? I was gonna say my chance to learn. To learn how to drown! <laughs> <laughs> Damn, this pirate's kind of savage. Just hanging out with my webcam friends. He picked that up really easily. Yeah, just do that, Baron. Seems like a terrible you idea. You expect me to drink this? You're right. I don't know. I feel like elf, elven anatomy is different. That was a bold choice. Uh, it's surprisingly not terrible. Why should I trust you? You already drank the potion. It's a little bit late for that. He's too far in at this point. He's got to do it. I need time to think. No! That's fine and all, but I feel like if you're going to draw a line somewhere... Wouldn't you draw the line at the, the concoction? The bubbling, dark concoction? But okay. And why does it feel like a relationship? I need time to think is something you say after a couple fight. Is this a ship? Is this shipping? Am I shipping? <laughs> Viren X Vir Elf? This has got to be a ship somewhere. Someone is shipping them. Poor Rayla. You're turning different colors. Is that your moon shadow form? No, this is my rare glow toad impersonation. <clears throat> <clears throat> The strength of will. This bird is awesome. When it's not telling you you're gonna drown. Nailed it! Squawk! Did he just say the word squawk? I never would have noticed that. Why would the outpost be abandoned? They just sent the signal a few. Your signal is late. The next signal will happen exactly on the hour. <laughs> what are you hiding? Oh! Nice. The sword is so cool. I know that face. It's the dumb idea face. Maybe if I'm brave enough to go into it and face the storm, that's how I'll make the connection. Or it'll blow you up until you're dead. Yeah, this is kind of a super long shot. It's wet. Mm, the wind is blowing. I don't think I feel any different. Yeah, he's kind of dreaming here, right? Like, this is a huge reach. But you know what? If he actually makes it happen, who's gonna laugh now? 
So I don't know where this magical thing is going, but I do know this feeling very well. Like, this is kind of a terrifying place to be. You know you want something, but your whole life is sort of screaming at you that you're crazy. And other people also are telling you that you're crazy. And that will never change. The only way to reverse that is when you actually do it. Because once you do it, the tables completely flip and people will start to be impressed by what you're doing rather than like healthy skepticism. But if you feel the way Callum feels about something, I feel like you got to at least see it through. You'd be way worse off for not even trying. Like even the failure at it is better than not pursuing it because you learn things through the process but also stepping into that world of the unknown where failure seems like an inevitability it brings a strength to you because you faced it you sort of have to be willing to be stupid or look stupid in order to really like sync with bigger things that you could be doing maybe i need to get higher up there's a metaphor here Yeah, there's a trade-off. The higher you aim and the more you go for something, the more vulnerable you are. But you sort of have to get through that anyway. The lightning thing's kind of different because you can die, right? But there's no greatness without considerable emotional risk, I think. Four messages came for me and I was not informed. Actually, we searched the entire castle. We couldn't find you anywhere. <laughs> what are you, hiding in some secret chamber somewhere? <laughs> He's in the mirror room, formerly I the elf dungeon. in the bathroom. <laughs> the other four kingdoms have agreed to a summit of the Pentarchy. Wow, that sounds important. I will rally the kings and queens behind Catullus and finally destroy the Zadian threat. You are witnessing history. That is great. Um, would you rate the service you received today as excellent? This is something I think about too. Like, we expect everyone to be good at everything and to have like an opinion on everything, but actually most people just need to focus on their own lives. It just makes sense. There's an incentive to care more about your daily reality. This guy's just trying to do his job. What does he care about the Pentarchy? Not everyone can be an expert about the world, but I feel like we sort of expect people to be. Maybe if I... Getting too close there. No, I can't. I have to understand the Sky Primal. <laughs> Come on! Come on! There's something a little bit unhealthy about this, right? There's like a desperation in it. It's more than just a dream. There's like a feeling of worthlessness to it too, right? Like, what am I without this? Ah, oh, Callum, you're being an idiot. What in the world? Ah! That sword is just too cool, man. But her shield somehow can resist it, right? She got some crazy hops. <laughs> it would be so cool if Amaya got this sword. So they lost their post. I feel stupid. I could have gotten Zim killed. I thought I wanted this badly enough, but in the end, I, I didn't have the guts. Not true. Good. He's not wrong. Like, there's something really great about what he's doing. It's just that the approach and the emotion behind the approach is wrong. Him trying to overcome that and do it anyway, that I think is admirable. You know, that's a rare trait. People won't do that. People would rather remain in the state where they can tell themselves they're great but they haven't tested themselves out yet. They haven't actually proved their greatness. It's just, you can live with the comforting thought that I could do it if I wanted to, right? But it's when you go out and actually do it that you realize the difficulty of it. So that's all good. It's just a desperation. And it's the feeling that like, this will make him, you know, like this will make him someone who's worthwhile. And that's not it at all. You know, like his life is more important. And this is a common theme in like a lot of the shows that I watch where it's like people always think they're the, the least valuable part of the whole thing. You know, like other people are valuable. I'm not valuable, which is just not the case. Like Callum is, he's a great guy. And so his feeling of self-worth is an issue, you know, but not the fact that he's willing to like take chances and go for a dream. I think that's a beautiful thing. Have you made up your mind? He's gonna do it. Oh! But that's not the end of this ship. What does it mean? <laughs> Secrets. Secrets and lies. So that was a really fun episode. No Soren and Claudia this time, which is all right, because we got Amaya, which was really great. We got the whole ocean adventure and the pirate guy, who's pretty cool. We get a little bit of development on the mirror, although not much. I think I'm most intrigued by Callum. I'm trying to think how they can resolve this because they could break the laws they've already established, which might be somewhat unsatisfying, or they could find a creative way to do it, which would be really cool, or it could never happen and Callum would find a way to cope with it, which also would be cool. But even though this is just magic, even though it's not something that seems super connected to life, the feeling that Callum has is something that I relate to very strongly. And like, as someone who likes to see people succeed despite the odds, 
I'm like hoping that he finds a way that's satisfying and then separately sort of detach his self-worth from the whole process because they're two different things. Like I think goals are really important and I think proving to yourself that you're capable of going for your goals and achieving your goals at least on some level is an important thing for you know your own self self-value. It's one thing to sit around and, and think about how great you are and there's some utility to having self-esteem but I feel like the thought will only take you so far. There's something to be said for self-esteem through action and through accomplishment but that being said I think the focus is important and like there's no one action or goal that will ever make you complete. You know, there are other important things that are not worth throwing away for those things, you know, like friends, your life, like Callum was about to do, the dragon's safety, you know, like there are other things that are really important to think about. But I want him to succeed, and I'm sure he will. I just, I'm, it'll be interesting to see how that develops. Before the video ends, I gotta give a very, very special thank you to all of my patrons for all the support. At this point, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is one week ahead on Patreon. By the end of this week, Dragon Prince will be one week ahead on Patreon. So check that out if you're interested. This week, a very special thank you goes to Barthel for joining the top tier on Patreon. Thank you to all my patrons for the support. You guys make this possible. Thanks to everybody for watching day in and day out, and I'll see you guys next time for episode five.